Hello everyone and welcome to our very first episode of our brand new television show called Monterey Bay and Beyond. Now those of you who've been with us for the past three years familiar with our Around Carmel show, which no doubt became the very first program directly designed to promote the people, places, businesses, and events that make the Central Coast one of the finest places to live in California. The real change for our new show is that now all of these entities from all over the Monterey Bay Area and beyond can promote themselves. And if your business, nonprofit organization, or event needs publicity, why our program is here to help you. All you do is contact us at hunterfinellmedia.com or you can email me at hunter at hunterfinellmedia.com or pick up the phone, 831-236-6781. And with a new show comes something very special, our first ever presenting sponsor. Hunter, the Monterey Peninsula, the Salinas Valley, this is my home. This is where I work, where I play, and where I see many successful people and businesses. And that's why I'm pleased to join your newly remodeled TV program. Indeed, starting in 2013, Sam Linder Auto is the new presenting sponsor of Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell. Most all of us know the Sam Linder name as one of the preeminent auto dealers in Northern California. You can't miss his classic Cadillac Honda dealership in Salinas or his Jaguar Land Rover Volvo showplace on the Monterey Peninsula. And as you know, Hunter, uh, this winter we're also in the remodel mode. We're doing Jaguar and Land Rover showrooms currently, and we'll follow that with the Volvo showroom. And soon to realize a spectacular new showroom to match the quality of some of the finest automobiles on wheels. So fine, Hunter, that we finally got you to shift gears. Hunter, congratulations. I know you're going to love this car. It's a pretty sweet XJ. Thanks, Sam. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> True indeed, as Sam's convinced me and my family that Jags and Land Rovers are really very hip. And now I guess there's no turning back. And so join me, Sam Linder, this new year as I present my business on Monterey Bay and beyond. And test drive these cool Jaguars and or jump over into a Land Rover. And oh, by the way, Sam Linder Auto, which includes Sam Linder Jaguar Land Rover Monterey, will be our presenting sponsor of Monterey Bay and beyond the entire year 2013. You just might say we're on a roll, as yours truly has gained a whole new appreciation for this feline named Jaguar. We'll have more on Sam Linder Jaguar Land Rover a little bit later in our show. Now to explain our promotional possibilities, here's the lowdown. We have what's called a host sponsor, which garners the majority of the airtime in our 30 minute show. And it allows you to promote your event, the people that you work with, or your business. And they are the host for one specific month. Examples of past host sponsors have been the City of Carmel, the Pebble Beach Company, the SPCA for Monterey County, the Salinas Relay for Life, the Barnyard Shopping Village, the Carmel Plaza, the Northern California Golf Association, the Concours d'Elegance Car Show at Pebble Beach, also the Concorso Italiano at Laguna Seca Golf Ranch, as well as Monterey Beach Party, which is the premier host of private corporate parties and weddings right on the beach in Monterey. And this past December, Pejmani of Belgium, promoting its first jewelry store in the United States in Carmel by the Sea. In short, the host sponsor purchases at least 10 minutes of our half hour program to promote itself for one month. And that promotion creates educated awareness to viewers all over the Central Coast, as well as throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. Suffice to say, there's no bigger or better vehicle for you to promote your event or your business than on Monterey Bay and beyond with Hunter Fennell. Beside the host sponsorship, the other option for you is to be a regular sponsor. This means that you purchase either a one minute or two minute video segment that we create and produce with your voice and your vision to promote yourself and your business. And that video story runs within the show every single time the show airs. And here's the breakdown. Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell airs at least twice per day 
every day of the week on Comcast Cable Channel 17 at 5.30 and Channel 2 at 8 o'clock. And one of the greater benefits is the exposure your TV ad gets on Video On Demand. In other words, VOD airs your ad not only in Monterey, Salinas, and Santa Cruz, but also throughout the entire San Francisco Bay Area. That, folks, is a lot of eyeballs. Regular sponsors on our show have included restaurants such as Rich Pepe's Vesuvio and Little Napoli and Carmel by the Sea. To Tony Toner's always delightful and dependable restaurants, Rio Grill and the Carmel Crossroads, Monterey's downtown dining experience, Montreal Bistro, and Tarpey's Roadhouse off Highway 68 between Monterey and Salinas. And speaking of Tarpey's, this perfect old stone gem just turned 20 years old this past fall, and Hunter Fidel Media was there for the celebration. Today's the 20th anniversary party. You got a lot of people, a lot of food, a lot of fun. How exciting is it? It's fantastic. We had a great turnout. Um, it's wonderful to give back to the community a little party after being open 20 years and just the uh, community's really supported us a heck of a lot. It's so fun. Yeah, it's happy anniversary. We <laughs> like it. Today you have garden tours happening. How exciting is that? You guys are showcasing your gardens? Yeah, we are. I'm um, very fortunate to have a kitchen garden right off to the, the back of our kitchen uh, that has herbs, edible flowers, some vegetables, and we have some fruit trees growing as well. Tarpies is set on five acres. It's a hundred year old historic building and it's, uh, we have seven different dining rooms. And just the place itself, it lends itself to just comfort and just a good meal. Staff too, our staff is extremely professional, courteous, and we'll go out of the way to make your dining experience wonderful. Another restaurant that's been around for about a half a century is very famous for its location, right behind me on wharf number two in Monterey, and also for its succulent seafood. Monterey Peninsulan, Clint Eastwood, thought it was good enough for his 1972 movie, Play Misty For Me. And four decades later, the Sandbar and Grill is still the famous restaurant of choice for locals and tourists. Don't you just love the Sandbar? What a great place to meet with friends. The food is so delicious and the atmosphere, you just can't beat it. You're right, Mary and Carol, we could be out sailing. The view from wharf number two in Monterey is nothing short of ship to shore. And inside this ship, if you will, is spectacular seafood and more, and a bar that's worth every sip. Sandbar is a fun place, especially at happy hour. We have discounted food, specialty drinks. I tell you, if you come once, you'll definitely be back. Oh, and did I mention that the proprietor's pretty cool too? Craig Lang golfs, watches all sports, and wants you to love his restaurant too. Open for lunch and dinner every day, plus Sunday brunch. Picture yourself at the Sandbar and Grill. Other regular sponsors that appeared on Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell included hotels, such as the Carmel Boutique Inns, AKA the remarkable Cypress Inn, co-owned by famous Carmel resident Doris Day and Danny Levette, and ruled, of course, by Doris Day's favorite four-legged friends, as well as the first inn you drive past in Carmel, the Forest Lodge, and the Lamplighter, closest inn to Carmel Beach, and Denny Levette's favorite, the Vagabond's House. Speaking of gems, other regular sponsors have included jewelry stores, such as Fortane Estate Jewelers in Carmel by the Sea, Hesselbein Jewelers, known for pearls and fine watches from Rolex and Pate Philippe, and also in the Crossroads Carmel, Weber Jewelers, specializing in Brad Weber's unique and distinctive creative jewelry design. Other regular sponsors have featured women's and men's clothing shops, such as Adriana Ruloff's favorite the Duchess. Also in the Carmel Plaza, Marianne Mazel's marvelous traditional men's and women's clothing store, Madrigal. And just across the street, Augustina Women's Store on Ocean Avenue and the trusty travel bag in the Crossroads Carmel. Regular sponsors highlighted as well, the art world, such as famous international sculptor Richard McDonald and Teresa Bendel's Gallery Elite. And most recently, our host sponsor this past November was the Carmel Plaza. We featured video segments on artists occupying the third floor 
such as William Eatmon and his picture-perfect pointillism, to Russian native Alex Raskin's nouveau photography and computerized painting, to Kim Campbell's use of hot wax in a walk to produce her erstwhile art. And speaking of art, there are a couple of other artists who reside on the third floor at the Carmel Plaza who are nice enough to illustrate their art for us this month on Monterey Bay and Beyond. Lucas Block, a native Dutch artist, moved to the Monterey Peninsula in the 1980s, and his art has captured critical acclaim, having exhibited his paintings throughout the U.S. and Europe. Block likes to create a visual experience akin to music. His work is about pure and color experience. They vibrate as shapes seem to materialize and disappear, and phantom colors migrate and surge across the canvas. In fact, Lucas Block was awarded the 2012-2013 Pollock Krasner Foundation Grant for his work as a colorist painter. Rick Derrigan, who once penned for the Monterey Herald newspaper, wrote this about Lucas Block's art. Block has developed a series of concerns that differ significantly from the other artists around the peninsula. He attempts to do with color what musicians do with sound. That is, control the color relationship so that the viewer delves into the paintings the way a listener digests chordal and harmonic relationships in music as it is played. The more the viewer looks, the more the painting happens. Don't miss the Lucas Block Gallery, third floor at the Carmel Plaza, www.lucasblock.com, or call Lucas Block at 831-594-4994. Our second edition of our gallery tour here at the Carmel Plaza, trying to introduce you to some of the fine artists here in Carmel by the Sea, mm -hmm. is Terry Shoulders of Shoulders Photography Gallery. And well, Terry, first off, I gotta ask you about this beauty you have your arm on. Tell me about it. This is a vintage Deerdorf. Right. It was made in Illinois. Uh, a family makes them. Right. And it was probably made in the 50s of the last century, of which I was a part. Right. And uh, I still carry it around today. We have something in common with uh, our Chicago ties. You worked there for years and years and years. Tell me about your career there. It started out, I went to an art school for about six months. Real quick, I got an opportunity to work for an art gallery in the mat room, running things around, packages. They asked for an assistant photographer. I took it, and six years later, I opened my own place. And you did a lot of work for some high-end companies, am I right? Yes, it uh, started out with smaller places, but then as I developed my business, um, there was United Airlines, different Samsonite luggage, Converse, Hiram Walker Liquor, Sara Lee, different places. Any yeah. great memories or great shoots or things that uh, come to come All to of them. Really? Yeah, they were all great. There were, some were frustrating, but it was such a rewarding feeling when you finished the job that you did something good. How would you describe your photography? Sensual, would that be a word that fits? Well, a good friend of mine, I think he put it right on the nose. He calls it elegant sensuality. Okay. And really, if you look at it, I mean, he was right. When I look at it, the landscapes, the figurative, even the tabletops, everything carries the same familiar thread through it. I was an artist, I think, from the day I was born. I mean, you hear that, but I, I swear to God, I think it was true. Um, I drew, I painted. I was a photographer for the local newspaper. I look forward to coming down here to this studio, this gallery. It's like enthusiasm for something. It's like being with God, you know, whatever you, whoever your God is. That's what it is to me. I love it. A great success story is another popular outdoor business center called the Barnyard Shopping Village, located just a stone's throw from Carmel by the Sea. Three years ago, the Barnyard was struggling to fill many of its vacancies until it signed on as a host sponsor on our previous show, Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell. And what a difference three host sponsorships make. As of now, if you visit the Barnyard, you realize that not only are most, if not all, the merchant spaces occupied, but the Barnyard is also host to several fine events throughout the year, such as the Ferrari Car Show, 
to the always festive Oktoberfest. Staged in September by Chef Andre of restaurant Lugano Swiss Bistro in the barnyard. In fact, Oktoberfest was such a huge draw this past September. Yes, September, because, you know, fans of Oktoberfest just can't wait until October to partake in the best Bavaria has to offer here in Northern California. Andre, it is finally Oktoberfest. Tell me about all the hard work has paid off, has it not? Yeah, so far so good. I only have one problem, I need to get the beer chilled, okay? <laughs> uh, you need more ice. Talk about uh, all the work that goes into this, Andre. What do you have to do to prepare for an event where you're gonna have some 5,000 people? I said I'm gonna do it. I did 2,000 last year. I will do six, 7,000 this year, and I will be 30,000 next year. Why do you think people like Oktoberfest? Look at it, oh my, they're having fun. They just did the chicken dance up there, okay? But people, yeah, people just love to party, don't they? It looks like it, you know. Now, I know you've lived here a long time, Andre, and Lugano Swiss Bistro is your home base, uh, but there's still a lot of Bavaria in you, and that's why you oh, created this, right? I'm an hour away from Bavaria, you know, and I did my first Oktoberfest when I was 21 years old, okay? But, you know, it's in my blood. And, and I want to get the culture over here, and I think Carmel needs something like this, okay? How much beer is here today? We had 150 cakes, I just called Spaten, and we have a guy here from Hope Ride, they're bringing in some more. Wow, that, have you had a chance to have a beer yet? I had a, I had a couple, okay. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple. Last thing, I, I know we've asked you before, Andre, but it is September. But it's Oktoberfest. Can you explain uh, to our to our viewers why? Oktoberfest gone on for 200 years, and uh, yeah, closed it about 26 times in World War One and, and a bomb scare one time and all that. But 50 years ago, they always had it in, in October, and 50 years ago they got snowed in. So in Munich. In Munich. So they made a decision. Let's start it two weeks in September, one week in October. It's a very hard sell for me. I keep on saying Oktoberfest, why in September? But it is in September. It's proof with all these people here that it works no matter what month. They're fine us. Right. Andre, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Andre, for being here. And best okay. of success with Oktoberfest. <laughs> we like it, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. In fact, Oktoberfest was such a German hit that Chef Andre is now planning a repeat performance at the barnyard this fall as well as a possible expansion of Oktoberfest into San Luis Obispo. That's lots of kegs and later hosen. After an almost three year run on Around Carmel with Hunter Fennell, yours truly has been getting a lot of feedback from people and businesses all outside of the Carmel area asking if they can be on our TV show. And the answer, why not? A nice example would be the Seascape Sports Club in Aptos, host of one of the finest and longest running minor league pro tennis tournaments in Northern California. Here's a peek from last August at Seascape. The 25th anniversary of the Comerica Bank Challenger Tennis Tournament was celebrated in style at the Seascape Sports Club in Aptos from August 6th to the 12th. Steve Johnson, the reigning NCAA singles tennis champion from the University of Southern California, would eventually defeat his former Trojan teammate Robert Farah in two decisive sets, three and three, to capture the pro singles title. Johnson had already earned a wild card into this year's US Open in New York because of his NCAA championship. However, he gained valuable points, more experience, and further respect with his triumph in Aptos. How is the crowd out here today? It's, it's great, you know, Aptos is a great place, my second year here, and you know, the, the facility and the people, everyone's so nice here, and it's just, uh, you know, it's tough to be here. Hunter Fennell Media is one of several community sponsors that contribute to this United States Tennis Association's Challenger Tennis event that has been a staple in Northern California for a quarter century. Past competitors in the Comerica Bank Challenger include Andy Murray, John Isner, James Blake, Michael Chang, Justin Gimmelstaff, Pat Rafter, and the famous Bryan Brothers doubles team from Stanford University. Congratulations to Seascape Sports Club, owners Paul and Winnie Kepler, 
tournament director Judy Welsh, and tennis pro Brian Corey. All deserving an ace for keeping the pro tennis spotlight shining brightly in Northern California. It's just turned out to be a great event for the community and, uh, you know, and for, and for the club. I mean, you know, the people that are involved, most of them have been involved for a long time just because they really love doing it, love seeing the new people. Of course, they love tennis. On a personal side note, Logan Fennell, following in her dad Hunter's footsteps, was the media relations person for the challenger for the second consecutive year. And an added tip of the cap to tennis competitor Logan and her professional partner Matt Reed of Australia, who on Sunday finished runner-up in the mixed doubles championship on center court at Seascape. The Comerica Bank Challenger, fun for everyone and home of the future stars of pro tennis. Incidentally, the Comerica Bank Challenger returns this fall. And speaking of the Seascape Sports Club, that's where I happen to meet a tennis fan who doubles as a very talented designer. Kay Heisman of Kay Heisman Residential and Commercial Design of Aptos will be our host sponsor on Monterey Bay and Beyond this summer. Soon to prove that the way to beat an economic real estate funk is to have fun and promote your good work. You know, recently, the Monterey County Herald newspaper ran a great article extolling the virtues of the famous Cannery Row, calling it one of the seven wonders of Monterey County. In 2013, the incredible Cannery Row, with so much to offer from shops to restaurants, bars to hotels, will be our featured host sponsor twice on Monterey Bay and beyond. After all, statistics indicate that the majority of tourism in Monterey County motors to Monterey and the historic Cannery Row, with that rather well-known aquarium attached, and it seems to attract millions of people every year. Furthermore, the most famous restaurant on Cannery Row will be reveling this summer when the Sardine Factory turns 45. Join us as this iconic eatery celebrates its birthday as the host sponsor of Monterey Bay and beyond. They say what goes around comes around, and if that's true, it's about time for LMP. Yes, Leadership Monterey Peninsula, with headquarters in New Monterey, is a 28-year-old nonprofit organization that, in a nutshell, has done more to create leaders, not only on the Monterey Peninsula, but all throughout the surrounding county areas. Problem is, despite educating its adult students as to how Monterey County ticks, the only promotion LMP has had in almost three decades is word of mouth. Well, would you believe next month, Leadership Monterey Peninsula will be the host sponsor on Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell. One of the consummate places of business on the Monterey Peninsula has been Quail Lodge, formerly known as Quail Lodge Resort and Golf Club. But five years ago, during the trying economy, the hotel closed down. But this April, as you will see on Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell, the newly renovated Quail Lodge Hotel will reopen its doors to the public and revamp its traditional golf course. We've actually um, put together a model room of the new lodge room and people will see how comfortable, how attractive, how inviting that product will be. So what we would like is that this becomes a destination that people fall in love with. All the while, Quail Lodge will continue to accentuate the positive with one of the younger but more impressive automotive shows during Classic Car Week. Here's a sample of the Quail, a motorsports gathering, now a decade old. Cheers to all of you and have a great day. <laughs> you know, this show is absolutely pure enthusiasm, just across the board. The entrance, the, the guests that are here, the vendors that are here, everyone is so enthusiastic to be here. In the beginning, when we first started, as you recall, it was thought that we would just grow this thing, as is a natural tendency when things succeed, but we're quite proud. We have kept this event capped, and that's really the magic of this event. 
Now this Alfa Romeo that's behind us, uh, the oldest Alfa, I was talking to the owner from Sydney, Australia. Is that not just sum it up, uh, that a gentleman from halfway across the planet is here with the oldest Alfa in the world? Yeah, that says a lot about the nature of the show. It really does. We've got the oldest Ferrari here as well. I like, um, I really like Lamborghinis. Those are like my favorite. It's a wonderful event. It's exclusive, yes, but it's just so professional and beautifully done. Tell me about this beautiful 1935 Bugatti. Oh gosh, this car uh, I have owned for 31 years. It's, it was all apart since 1936. I've now spent the last seven years getting it restored. And is this your first time to the Quail? Yeah. Tell me your thoughts, what are your impressions? Um, it's super cool, I'm enjoying it. I'm <laughs> liking to see all the different cars and um, it's fun. Do you have a favorite car that's out here? Do you like Ferraris or do you like the Bugattis? I think her favorite car is her dad's car, which is <laughs> this beautiful Morgan over here. Oh, is it really? This is your dad's car right here? <laughs> yeah. It is a very special event. I mean, it's, there's a little bit of fashion, so something for the ladies. There's wonderful champagne, wonderful food from four corners of the world. Where else could you come and have so much fun? From beautiful wharf number two in Monterey, there is so much to look forward to in 2013 as we launch Monterey Bay and beyond with Hunter Fennell. We hope you'll come along for the ride as we help you promote your business, nonprofit organization, or fantastic event. If you would like to promote your business or event on our show, please contact us at hunter at hunterfennellmedia.com or call 831-236 Six seven eight one. And if you like what you see on Monterey Bay and Beyond with Hunter Fennell, why you can view it twice per day every night at 5.30 and 8. You can also check us out anytime, day or night, on Video On Demand. Click either under the heading Shopping, Entertainment or Travel and Leisure and you can see us from the Central Coast and north throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. And of course, you can also view us online at MontereyBayAndBeyond.com or by logging onto our website, hunterfinellmedia.com.